Hey everybody, I'm going to show you today how to very easily cook quinoa, which has become quite popular. It's a very healthy grain from South America and it is full of protein and it's gluten-free, so it's a great substitute for rice and other starches. A couple really easy steps to make a really great tasting quinoa. And I'm also gonna share with you some of my favorite recipes that I use quinoa in. For this recipe, what you will need is one and a half cups of quinoa. I've used half a cube of, of bouillon, of a vegetable stock, and I'm mixing it into two cups of boiling water. One of the key things to making a great tasting quinoa is to give it a good rinse in a fine strainer um, because the outer shell is actually quite bitter. But if you give it a good rinse for a few minutes, then you'll get rid of that bitter taste. Now I'm going to add my two cups of vegetable broth to my saucepan and my one and a half cup of rinsed quinoa right into that. And we're going to bring this over to our stove and cook it on high until it comes to a boil. And now that the quinoa has come to a boil, what we're going to do is turn the heat right down to low and just cover it with a lid and we will let it simmer for 15 minutes. Now that we've let it simmer for 15 minutes on low, uh, we're going to turn the heat off and let it stand for five minutes. And we're going to take this off the stove and put it into a bowl. And then just give it a little fluff with a fork. It smells so good. It's a really nutty uh, tasting grain. Uh, and again, gluten-free, super high in protein. So I want to share with you guys uh, a few of my favorite recipes and I'll also share with you in the description the link to these recipes. I'll give you four of my favorites, which include quinoa and black beans quinoa black bean burgers, which is absolutely delicious, Mediterranean quinoa salad, and turkey and quinoa meatloaf, my four favorites. It's perfect as a side dish, but you can make so many things with it. Such a healthy alternative, and as you can see, really easy to make. It always turns out better for me than my rice does, so I think your family will enjoy it. My kids love it, and I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the recipe.